Um, the last question from Brother Jamal from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh, was regarding concentrating in the prayer. He was speaking about the hadith that you quoted before, Sheikh. Could you please enlighten us to that, please? I, I believe you're talking about the statement which is mm-hmm. uttered by many of the companions, such as Ammar ibn Yasir mm-hmm. or Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, uh, which says, لَيْسَ لِلْمَرْءِ مِنْ صَلَاتِهِ uh, إِلَّا مَا عَقَلَ مِنْهَا mm-hmm. which means one will not be rewarded for his prayer except for the part which he focuses on, which he uh, acquires tranquility and a state of khushu' and mm-hmm. attention during uh, this part. Then the part which he was not attentive in the salah will not count. This statement by many of the companions uh, was narrated marfu'a, yet there are other sound hadith which support this statement and it will be always mentioned whenever we speak about uh, how to gain khushu'a in the salah. Uh, the hadith which is collected by Imam Ahmad that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whenever the person prays uh, he would only get from his prayer maybe one tenth or one ninth or one eighth of it, one seventh of it, one sixth of it, one fifth of it one uh, fourth of it, one third of it, up to one half of it, based on the concentration he has. So if somebody concentrated only on 50% of the salah, and the rest he was wondering or daydreaming, he would be only rewarded for this part, only for this part. So the percentage of the reward would be in proportion with the percentage of his contemplation and tranquility of khushu' in the salah. Jazakallah <laughs> khashik.